All right, welcome everybody. Um, thanks for joining in uh, to TNG Online Connect. So uh, we definitely had a uh, pretty awesome year of guest speakers um, and uh, connecting our TNG group members and guests um, beyond your regions, so uh, to some other regions as well. Um, and I know TNG itself has, has grown quite a bit this year. So we've got, uh, I think, uh, down south, South Island as well. Is that right, Melanie? So that's uh, right. Yep. Fully national now, uh, which is awesome. Um, and a few locations in Palmerston North, Wellington, well, mm -hmm. de de definitely across the North Island and then um, exploring the South Island as well, which is awesome. Uh, so, as she said, um, all we're going to do today is just go through uh, some of um, retrospectively look at uh, 2022 and just look at some of the highlights that we experienced, some of the um, the key takeaways um, that we got from 2022 um, and then looking at some goals for next year. So what are you wanting to achieve in your business? Um, and also uh, maybe how we can help, um, how the Kenya community can help you achieve those goals as well. Uh, definitely that's what TNG is about, is about bringing the community together and then finding people who can enable you to um, achieve those goals. Uh, so Let's look. So, um, if you, if you need a reference for the questions, they just in the chat as well. So, highlights for twenty twenty two. I'll show you the clickers and the wins. Don't be shy. Um, and then goals for next year. Um, so, I don't want to pick on anyone, um, but I'm going to have to pick on someone. Um, but uh, all right, Anne, would you like to kick off? Kick us off. Yeah, sure. I knew you were going to start with me, being at the top of the page. Yeah. Cool. So 2022, it's been an interesting year. Um, we started off with a, a little bit of a lockdown, but um, for me, it's uh, been good that I've had a fairly stable client base. But the good thing for my clients is that they've been able to keep their doors open. Um, so that in itself has meant that 2022 has been a much better year. It's a year of consolidation, a year of starting to grow um, and uh, looking forward to an even stronger 2023. The, the economy and interest rates and impending recession, if we ever get there, is uh, putting a bit of a dampener on things. Um, but as I always say to People, if you've got a strong business and you know your customers, you know your advantage, you've got good systems and processes, you've got good people, you will survive no matter what the economy is doing. The economy, uh, recessions only kill bad clients. Um, so for me personally, it's been around uh, building my personal brand. Mm -hmm. I've spent a bit more time on LinkedIn and uh, Facebook this year. I've got a few more followers um, getting a bit more reach out there. Uh, so that's going to take me into my goals for 2023. My, I'm going to try and get some videos out there next year as my own stretch goal, uh, but also looking for uh, more businesses out there that are going to need a bit more support to make sure they get through the next couple of years, which are going to be quite tough in the, in the current climate. Awesome. Thanks very much, Anne. Uh, Rich, should Let's hear from you, mate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask, sorry. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it has been a challenging year for me with having a lot of face-to-face -face, um, elements in my business. And um, I guess a lot of us have adapted with Zoom and Zoom's been useful. Uh, but it hasn't necessarily been the solution to uh, all of the, the needs that my clients have. Um, I've been talking to a particular organization for probably two years about getting a well-being program off the ground with them. And every time we felt as though we were getting a little bit closer, something changed with uh, with COVID and it pushed it back and it pushed it back and it pushed it back. And I guess the, the uh, moral of the story is never give up because um, uh, towards the, the three quarters of the way through this year we we launched it at uh one of their conferences and um, we're now three months in so uh it's great to be able to actually put the work into practice having said that it's going to happen and then for some reason or other it's been stalled so 
I guess that's one of the highlights for me is getting this thing off the ground with with a company, which is great for me and great for them. But also, you know, it just means that um, it, it gives that that credibility in the space that I'm wanting to to build into and um, and gives me a rung on the ladder for talking to other organizations and, uh, you know, working with one that's a, a well-known brand will certainly help me going into 2023. Um, goals for next year, I would, I started a neuro-linguistic programming course, NLP, you may have heard of, um, <clears throat> beginning of this year, actually be end of last year it started, uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a big, chunky uh, qualification, which requires sort of 18 full working days of, of training. Um, and sadly, only half of that got done in 2022. And it got, it got pushed out to 2023, um, which was beyond my control. So frustrating because I needed that and wanted that as a tool for some of the other work that I wanted to do with organizations. And uh, those final two modules will be coming in 2023. So the goal is to get those done, ticked off qualification in place uh, again more credibility and I guess for me just comfort that I'm not a fraud in my space you know you've got that imposter syndrome ticking away in the background sometimes and um, and without certain qualifications it's, it's a bit strong for me so I just need those things ticked off so I can feel like I'm in my place um, and so once that's done then I'll be able to uh, to reach out to more organizations and uh, offer my services so quite excited about 2023 because it's something that was supposed to happen this year so I'm kind of itching at the bit so um, yeah looking forward to it thanks for uh, thanks for listening thanks Richard that's um, good to hear um, what you've been up to uh, JC let's hear from you I think you might be muted or uh, is your audio working, JC? Let's see if it still can't hear you, but it might just be the audio channel. If you uh, click the up, up arrow from the mute button, you should be able to choose your microphone. Technical difficulties always get here. Uh, still can't hear you, JC. You might just have to um, uh, check your audio settings on Zoom, and just the um, the speaker might just be, or the microphone might just be on the wrong setting. Still not coming through there. All we can do is uh, you can test those settings on your side, JC, and we can just um, we can uh, not quite come test your settings, JC, and it's um it's fine if you if you interrupt. Um, no no worries. We'll just yeah we'll we'll move on to you, Baptist, and then we'll loop back. Um, so let us know how you get on, JC. But Baptist, let's hear from you. Yeah, my mic was not on. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, can we, you hear can, me? we can hear you, okay. Baptist. Okay. Good morning, TNG. My name is Baptist, and two highlights for my successes this year was I was able to visit my son and my grandchildren, which I was trying to do for the last two years, and I could not do it. All of you know because of COVID. And the second was that... Um, I got a growth of nearly 40% last year. And that was uh, due to something I'm doing good to my present clients because it was all through word of mouth publicity. So it was organic growth, nothing to do with social media or any other kind of advertising or marketing. So these were the two highlights of my success last year. Going forward, my goals are to get into more of business advisory, adding one more arm to my present offering so that clients have a better offering and products from my side. And 
The second one is to have more collaborations within and have complementary businesses which we could collaborate and grow to a very successful business. That's my goals for the next year. Over to you, Dan. Thanks, Baptist. Uh, what sort of businesses are you wanting to collaborate with, partner with? Uh, I'm going to partner with most of the um, business advisory kind of business coaches and then uh, other people who are offering business valuations and auditing. So because I am adding that arm also, or that arm is already there. So I'm going to collaborate more in those terms. And also I'm offering outsourcing service, which um, is happening at the present moment in India, so that uh, people have more time here and at a lower price. Yeah, definitely. Finding some people whose uh, clients are your clients was a, was a good bet. Um, yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, definitely a good, good, good way. So, um, Sarah, if, um, if you're driving, I'm not too sure if you're talking and driving, but see if you're there. I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can do that. <laughs> Perfect. Um, hopefully, you can hear me. Hi, I'm Sarah Linton from Title Change. Um, I help leaders and business owners to up level their impact um, and create more time. Um, my biggest successes of 2022 um, is actually um, making an impact leading the organization. A little bit quiet, Sarah. Um, can you hear me okay? You might just have to project. Speak louder. Hiya, can you hear me okay? Yeah, perfect. Yep. Um, yeah, so I was speaking at uh, an event in Christchurch where I worked with um, the NZ nurses organization, the leaders in their organization to help them overcome the overwhelm that has been a massive output of COVID and help them to um, really create um space to manage their energy and not their time and um it was a lot of work to prepare for that but um some really lovely connections were made through it um and has really grown our um business and the other part of that was actually um getting more familiar with running audio events on linkedin um which actually extended our reach beyond the New Zealand market. So we're now looking at um, connections um, for, on the international platform, which is fantastic. Um, and my third personal one was being able to get back to connect with my family in the UK. And I was away for three months and still managing to manage the business from um, an online platform. So that was really cool. And looking forward to next year, biggest challenge, uh, also goals for um, the business. I'm working in a collaboration with another um, Catalyst coach, and we're going to be developing our LinkedIn um, offer. And um, yeah, and creating more connections with a product in the group coaching space. So lots of work to do but some really exciting plans for that very good cool thanks sarah you're welcome let's hear from you next malcolm uh good morning tngers um i hope it's the sun shining up your way we we're supposed to have um, sunshine all day today and it's just finished raining again <clears throat> just a bit over the rain, so I hope it's uh, a bit better in your area. As I said on my note, um, I hadn't been able to uh, you know, get some time if you like to collaborate the wins on the business side. Um, but listening to a couple of others, yes, I have a couple of personal achievements this year, and that uh, I also have family overseas, a daughter in Esperance. Um, if you know, the, for those of you who knows who that is, it ain't in France. But it's 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 quite an isolated place, and they were able to come over this year and catch up after having to put off a couple of trips. So that's great. So there's nothing more important than family. I guess next year I held, so that was good. Um, and yeah, actually at a, at a personal level, being a, a Gen X sort of boomer, I've had a bit of a breakthrough on the uh, 
on the IT side. And thanks to people like Dan, it's all helping to you know, paint a bit of a picture about how to engage with um, the market digitally, particularly. Um, I just wanted to share a couple of things on TNG and Melanie. I, I hope I'm not um, kind of speaking out of order here at all, but um, some of you know I'm involved in the Cambridge group. And for my sins, I've been given the job of leading that group next year. Um, and we've had, I think, um, a continually refreshed and really engaging year, if you like, under Lisa Lynch, who's um, part of Lewis Law here in, in Cambridge. And she she keeps us very honest. And we've been encouraging people to we've been encouraging people to develop, you know, closer working relationships. And that's, you know, really, really happening now. And the numbers in the group are, are staying steady and increasing, um, you know, uh, at, at, at a reasonable sort of rate. So we look forward to 2023 being great. I've discussed with Melanie, um, you know, from a business coach's perspective and, if you like, um, trying to implement some feedback processes. And maybe Melanie can talk about that uh, if she's willing to share that with us. And I'm going to survey our own group, um, you know, just to make sure that we're actually delivering the value that um, people see. I, I would expect most people to be really happy with um, what's been happening in that particular group and with TNG in general. But, you know, uh, as they say, if you're a follower of Jim Collins, feed, feedback is the breakfast of champions. And, you know, we shouldn't be sitting on our laurels just assume that everybody's happy with what we're doing. So. Um, yeah, just thought I'd share a bit of feedback with the um, Cambridge group with you guys. 2023, um, hopefully we're going to see, you know, the whole business area settle down. For all the talk around the market, the market's a market, it goes up and down and, you know, house prices go up and down and interest rates go up and down and so on. So I think Anne made a hugely relevant comment, if you like, around the fact that if businesses have invested in some good infrastructure, some good coaching, you know, getting the basics right, then in fact they'll thrive through the next couple of years. Um, and the clean out that needs to happen in a, in a whole bunch of sectors, that normally comes with a recession, you know, even if it's going to be a mild, shallow one, um, will be good for the economy. Um, so, yeah, I think 2023 is going to be a um, actually a better year, despite the, the gloom and doom merchants, you know, around cost of living and interest rates and things like that. Thank you for your support during the year down and coordinating this. Um, we continue to encourage our people to join. And I've spoken with you, you know, separately, if you like, about, you know, keeping this fresh. It's a little frustrating to me that people don't actually jump on board for this session because there's been some fantastic learnings for us. So maybe that's one part of what we need to look at a, as a group, Melanie, and, 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 and see if we can distill and um, convey the value proposition around this perhaps a bit, a bit better. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely had some uh, some awesome guest speakers um, and share, share their advice. And obviously if you, um, if any of you guys have learnings that you want to bring to the group, I know um, and you've uh, have shared some content um, to, to the group before, but anyone else or particularly someone in your group um, or if there's particular information or advice that you want to hear yourself for your own when you can sort of speak your um, but thanks Malcolm feedback. Uh, JC is your microphone working now? Can you hear me now? Awesome perfect. <laughs> Do we have technical here and there? <laughs> Yeah, thank you um, for your patience. Um, JC is a real licensed immigration advisor for Australia and New Zealand. Um, since I think 20, 2019, uh, if I go back, there has been losses and there has been gains. And the biggest thing that I lost in 2022 was my dad. So he passed away this year after being, um, you know, he was sick from last three months. He was bedridden. One thing I really take from 2022 is the most important thing is health. Doesn't matter how good um, your bank balance is, if you can't enjoy your health, if you don't have your health. So definitely one thing I learned from what my dad go through was to look after yourself. 
we look after our business, we look after our families, but in some way we, we just lose ourselves. So keeping yourself mentally and physically fit is one thing I'm definitely going to take away from 2022. Highlights other than the date, we survived COVID, uh, but this year I got COVID. So finally COVID got me. It wasn't that bad, maybe because I got the booster and I, I kept myself away from it. And um, I was trying to keep myself healthy. So it was there, but it, it wasn't that bad. And um, it's not, we, we are still not out of it. So we really need to look after each other. And um, TNG has been a very big part in my COVID journey. If I talk about COVID, I can't talk about um, without TNG. TNG has been a big support to me. And one of the best things I did in 2017 was to join TNG. So TNG has been my extended family and my my group have been, you know, we call each other almost every week and ask each other how you are in the referring business. It's a very positive thing. Thanks, Melanie and Mark. It's it's a very positive way of doing business. I tell you, it's it's really beautiful. Um, to to get up in the morning and say thank you to people who have been you know there for you. Um, completed my HR degree. Um, we are accredited recruiters now, helping uh, New Zealand employers and Australian employers with the staffing issues. You will find many recruitment companies, but what we are trying to do is uh, a recruitment company with the differences that we look after the employees as well. So we are trying to create a platform where employees can just pick up people who they want to rather than spending $5,000 to $10,000 to just get one staff. So we are trying to lower the, well, uh, lower the cost of staff. And then also we are looking to, to reduce the gap between getting the right person for the right job, for the right employer with the right attitude. So that's that's what my focus is going, going in 2023. That's the reason I completed my HR degree. The difference between our recruitment companies, we are immigration friendly because we can do recruit, uh, immigration. So uh, we do. We are doing a lot of employer accreditation, accreditation. A lot of employers are getting accredited. They are getting staff from overseas, starting from arborist who is getting two hundred thousand dollars. So we are getting staff like labor from overseas. Never happened it before, but the accreditation, employer accreditation, has made it possible. And given the control in employers' hand, instead of government to prove that there is a shortage, you advertise for two weeks. If there's a shortage, you have a person who is overseas, you can get them. So it's never been easier, and uh, that's that's what I'm going to have focus in 2023. Luckily, out of eight months so far, we reached our goal three times this this year. So 100% goal we have reached, and overall year goal. We have reached 84%, so definitely we are doing something right and getting a lot of people, um, uh, employers happy because they get a right staff. A lot of people from overseas are coming who are the right for the job. So that's basically, that's my success and that's my goal um, um, for the 2023. And thanks for listening to me. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Um would be yeah so there's there's me so dan here from ingot digital design so being a little design studio um helping people excel digitally um covid has been a boom for us uh, so we've definitely been able to ride on that wave of people and needing to be more accessible online or needing to promote yeah. themselves online. um I, I was able to travel in 2022, so I was able to see some family uh, I haven't seen in 11 years, so um, that was awesome, um, and uh, it's just nice to be on a plane again, you know, see a different country, so um, that was probably more of a personal goal, or a personal win. Uh, in terms of our business, we, we started this year, we definitely made a conscious effort to shift who our target market was. So historically, the last two, three years, we've been working with uh, small to medium-sized businesses or startups, so people um, who have been in business um, a few years, um, but they smaller business. And we really wanted to work with more established businesses, so businesses who have been in business for five plus years who have 
you know, 10 to 15 employees. Um, they've got a established website already, but they needed to grow that to the next phase. Um, you know, websites is an ecosystem that grows with business. Um, and we really like those complex projects where we can integrate all these systems and turn the website into a tool that's bringing all those systems, simplifying it for the client, but also creating something epic that kind of sets them apart from their industry peers. Um, and we've really made some um, good ground on changing our target market. So we're starting to target medium to large enterprises with bigger, more complex projects that yes, they bring uh, more money, but they're just, they're just more exciting. Um, it's, uh, so that's definitely been a win for us. Um, we have um, grown our team by oh, to four and then lost the developer. Um, uh, he's actually moving back to India. So it's not often that normally you're hiring developers from India, except we're losing one to India. Um, so we'll probably look at that. So a goal for next year would be to rehire. So to, um, we do have a developer, but we're looking at this growing the team, hiring them. Uh, we have this, this office, so we might as well put bums and seats, right? Um, so looking uh, looking to the year ahead, uh, so definitely kind of chasing after um, the, the target market um, that we've got now that we've aligned ourselves with, um, and definitely having um, like a good business coach, good advisory has helped us um, get that way um, for us in that mindset. So definitely um, a plug for business coaches and what they do. Um, definitely helps. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's where we're heading. Um, that's what we're heading for, and uh, definitely enjoying. Um, well, looking forward to my couple of weeks off. Um, <laughs> it's been a busy year. Um, I'm thankful that yeah, um, I can take time off whenever I want to because I'm my own boss. But um, still, underpaying bugger that my boss is. Um, that's me, but it's all right. I can control that. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's me. So uh, back to the team, you death. Um, Melanie, let's um, hear a little bit about um, some wins personally and for TNG and what we have looking forward to next year. Thanks, Dan. I, um, I thought about this session today and I thought TNG's mostly about face-to-face -face. it's about connections and it's about building relationships for first and foremost so apologies Sarah I'm actually going to share a couple of slides because I think visually that that will be uh, the best way to tell my little story um, about the wins that we've had this year so um, hopefully you can all see the screen oh actually uh, are you seeing it correctly Dan yes yep yeah, okay, cool, awesome. So um, TNG is all about people and we had lockdowns and we had um, Zoom meetings and Zoom was successful in part because as JC said, it allowed people to continue to support each other through difficult times, both personally and in business. Uh, but it's not quite the same as getting back face to face and actually spending time with people and building those relationships. So we're delighted that we've had a great year of face to face networking. Um, JC, actually, that's your group there on the left. Always get fantastic photos out of that group. They're such a vibrant group and everyone loves it. So you'll see yourself there. <laughs> that's one of the best groups. <laughs> they're all they're all brilliant and yep. rich ironically there's your group as well um that group is a lunchtime group um that rich looks after and wow it's grown this group it, uh, this year it's vibrant every time i visit it's an absolute pleasure everyone is so happy to be there so it's nice to see the lunchtime groups um taking taking their place in um the tng community as well and, and of course um the photo on my right, it is the little, you know, 60 seconds awards out of one of the Waikato groups. And it's just lovely to see the energy in that photo. I just love it. So uh, TNG is all about people, first and foremost about building relationships. So return to face-to-face -face networking was the most, was the biggest highlight for this year. 
Um, my, how do I move my slides? Sorry. Um, okay. My next um, highlight is that we did open two new groups this year. Um, we were absolutely delighted to be introduced by Theo in the Hibiscus Coast to Alpi in Christchurch. Alpi's a real estate agent and she opened very, very successfully in Christchurch. That's um, their, their launch, their, their group on um, the launch day um, on the left there. And secondly, again, um, Malcolm actually, Malcolm Jensen, who's on this call, um, introduced us to Ron Shalwick in Palmerston North. And Ron came along to a couple of these sessions and then decided to open a networking group of his own in Palmerston North. So the photo on my right is of the Palmerston North launch. And um, both of those groups are, really, are going really well and um, working really well in their community. So we're very delighted to have had to have achieved that. The next achievement is that we had our 10th anniversary this year. So TNG has now been in business for over 10 years and we were delighted to have a large face-to-face -face networking event. We had 150 people in the room. We had a keynote speaker, Alison Mooney, who is undoubtedly one of the top uh, professional speakers in New Zealand. Um, and she has spoken globally, uh, I think about 74 countries uh, pr prior to COVID. So we were very lucky to have her come along and speak and share her um, inspiring words of wisdom about business relationships. So it was very, very relevant. And uh, finally, um, Mark was featured in the Lead magazine this year, which was a real honor. It's a, a marketing magazine, um, which is electronic. Uh, and it is a global magazine. And, and so he he talked all about um, giving back and helping each other and working together and creating collaborations and connections. So that's um, that, that was a, an honor as well. And my final slide is that Mark asked me to marry him. So that's quite a um, success for this year. We've been together 12 years and it was <laughs> completely unexpected. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that was sort of, that's my highlights for. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. So that's really neat. Um, so moving forward to 2023, I'm glad, Malcolm, that you're here because um, I'm, it, it's great to have your input and your feedback, and I've really appreciated the chats we've had this year. So thank you for that. Um, TNG wants to help. So our goals for next year are to grow our existing groups. It's been interesting hearing people talk about LinkedIn, um, that I had a session with one of our members on LinkedIn recently on um, to do some training. And we're really looking at lead generation and we'll be using uh, LinkedIn more in the new year. So um, that's certainly, um, that, that's our biggest grow, uh, goal is to grow our existing groups. Um, that uh, Malcolm and I had a chat, we'll be doing, we will be sending out um, a survey for feedback from the existing members. As you all know that the communities grow from the communities and whilst we can do lead generation activity, um, the best way to grow your groups is through word of mouth and through those personal relationships. So um, I had a chat to Malcolm and we discussed what the value is that TNG offers to members. Um, and we agreed, or, or he suggested, and I agreed. Um, firstly, uh, relationship building. It's all about people and it's all about connections. Uh, secondly, it's about education. And, and that's why this forum is so important. And Dan came to us at the beginning of um, COVID two and a half years ago and said, really like to do an online that's all about education. So this forum, we, we want to keep this going next year. I really would like to hear from you. I know three of you on this call, oh, actually four of you on this call have presented. So thank you, Rich and Malcolm and Sarah um, for contributing. And if you do know other people in your groups or even from outside your groups that would like to contribute in an educational manner, we'd really appreciate hearing from them. I think it's been great having such a diverse range of people contributing on so many subjects. So, so that's great. And the final one is referrals or business growth. And um, you don't get referrals uh, without doing the work in step one and two, which is the, 
the relationships and the education. So that's all about attending your meetings. And um, next year, we'll, we will have a drive on attendance to encourage people to go to every meeting. You know, you, you need to be there. You need to be developing those relationships. Um, so attendance and then education is the responsibility of each member to do the one on ones and the, in the in between meetings to get to know each other, to understand each other's business and how we can as a community all help each other. So education is, is really important. Um, but we will have a survey coming out in the next couple of weeks to get feedback from across the groups. Um, I'll let you know how, how that goes and what, what um, the success is in that. Um, and then we may have to do it on a group, at a group level through group managers as well. So, um, yeah, those are our goals for next year. We are looking for, always looking for referrals uh, for new area group managers, and we really appreciate um, everyone's help and support. So that's it from TNG. <laughs> Yeah. And thanks, thanks to Malcolm for uh, taking up the reins at Cambridge. It's definitely, um, definitely a good group and uh, under good leadership. So, forward to seeing that prosper. Um, but hey, thanks everyone. Um, it's been really interesting to uh, hear about what you've been up to, um, what you're going to be uh, aspiring to next year, um, and definitely do reach out um, as well if you if you have any uh, ideas for TNG or. Um, if you want a connection with a TNG member um, who does a certain thing, uh, reach out to Melanie or the team um, or say hello, drop a line. Um, we definitely want to see you succeed as well. So um, thanks again for, for joining us. Um, these sessions and all of the previous uh, sessions have been recorded and are on the TNG YouTube channel. Um, I know uh, last week or last fortnight we had um, really cool session on um, understanding your body type, your personality, and how um, that actually impacts your energy levels, your goals, settings, all that sort of stuff. So I definitely recommend checking out. Uh, covered a lot of ground in um, just over an hour. So you can check out that last session. Um, thanks everyone. Um, enjoy the, the weekend, hopefully it's sunny. Um, from uh, from Malcolm himself, but uh, let's uh, pray, for, pray for sunshine, right? So, um, but hey, thanks everyone, and um, have a fantastic weekend. Awesome, thanks Dan, and thanks for your input this year. It's been amazing. Yeah, here, here, Dan. Thanks, thanks for Likewise. your words. And the sun is now shining, so I'll go out and get some vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> Good news. Thanks, Excellent. Everyone. All right, have a great Christmas, Bye. everyone. Merry Christmas. Yeah. See you in the new year. Okay.